Hello beautiful internet family, Dan here from danstube.tv and today I've got some productivity hacks for people stuck at home. Now I've got so many different hacks within this one video here, but I'd love to know from you guys if you have any other hacks Drop them in the comments below. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. Also, I'd love to know what your favorite hack is in the comments below as well, and we can start a discussion. Also, on danstube.tv, I have a lot of tech reviews. I also have a lot of mental health focused videos, and that's kind of where I'm going nowadays. I'm, I'm gonna keep the tech content, but I just finished my Masters of Counseling. I run a personal development podcast with my friend Eamon called Meta Minds, so definitely check that one out as well. And I'm a counselor as well, so mental health is a big part of my life. Personal development is a massive aspect of my life, and I really wanna show you guys more of my true authentic self. So the first thing you really need to focus on is yourself, right? So you're at home. For whatever reason you're at home and you maybe want to be more driven, you want to be more productive, well you need to figure out yourself. You need to figure out what your needs are, what your passions are, what you're interested in. Now that can be done through journaling, that can be done from reflection, that can be done for just sitting with yourself and really trying to figure out what kind of things you've done in the past that you've enjoyed. What's really brought joy to your life? What brings a smile to your face? Then, when you have that, that's where you really dig down deep and find out what it is about that thing you enjoy, how you can potentially implement that into your, your home life, whether that's you know a passion project, whether that's learning a skill or an instrument, or you want to start a personal brand, or you just want to improve yourself. That could just be your own personal development journey. Whatever it may be, figure that out through journaling or reflection, and that's where we'll start. That's a really important first step. If you don't really know what your passions, values, or even your interests are, then a really good starting point is just trying different things. Figuring out what sounds all right to you or what sounds good, and then trying it. So that can be listening to a podcast, an audiobook, aligning with you know a particular mentor or someone online that you really click with, but just try different things and explore all the options that are available to you. This first step is more of a foundation. You're kind of building the foundation of your productive lifestyle from home, and this is fundamental, but it's not necessarily a productivity hack. But for a lot of people out there, they haven't done this work. They haven't sat with themselves and figured out what actually makes them happy? What interests and passions and values do you have? It's, it's really hard for a lot of people to figure this out. And it takes time. You have to intentionally sit with yourself and figure this out. So the productivity hack here is research, try different things, align with what feels right to you, and just be patient with yourself during this process. Now the next step is to clean up your space. Now whether that's your physical or your digital, or even both if you've got the time, Clean up your space, it will really declutter your mind. When you've got physical things in your space, it actually takes up processing power in your mind. It takes up cognition. So it's really important to clean up your space. And for me, I'm, I'm not fantastic, I'm not perfect. No one's perfect, right? What even is perfect? But I have had many a products just off to the side here, sitting in a pile, a really tall pile of products that I've had to do reviews on and it just becomes overwhelming. It's just too much for me. So I've actually had to physically clean up my space to make me more motivated and more driven to make content because when it was there, sitting there, it was taking up space in my mind, it was taking up physical space and it was really limiting me. Another thing is to clear up what's on your phone. So recently I've gone through and I've deleted all the pointless apps I didn't need. I put them all into folders, the ones that I wanted, and I've made it so it's just one page on my iPhone. I don't have to swipe, it's just on the home page. I launch and everything's there. I could still probably cut a few more out, but, you know, I'll leave a few in there, why not? For the most part though, it's really clean, and that actually took a fair bit of time, and I was battling with myself, battling with my ego. Why should I delete this? Will I use this one? I don't need it, okay? So I deleted it. If I'm not using it every day, if it's not fundamental, then you just need to get rid of it and you'll feel so much better. Now the next step is crucial. It's actually probably the most important step in my opinion, and it's swapping the content that you consume. Instead of scrolling through Facebook or Instagram pointlessly, instead of watching a pointless video on your YouTube that doesn't add any value to your life, fill your day with value. So you can listen to a podcast for absolutely nothing. It's completely free, there's no excuse. You can listen to some of the smartest, most credible, 
most fascinating people in the world in a free podcast. You can literally search for their name. You can find podcasts that align with you or interest you. You can learn every single waking second. And in that similar vein, you could get an audio book or a physical book and learn. You could even go online and you could research something that fascinates you, something that you think could potentially be a skill for later on, whether that's learning how to edit, learning how to use a camera, you know, learning potentially even how to start your own podcast or how to start journaling. There are so many options out there, but what the key fundamental goal of this productivity hack is, make sure you swap your content. If you're watching something and it's not adding any value to your life, cut it. Cut it completely and focus on the things that will help you grow. Focus on the things that will really enrich your life. You can still also occasionally watch cat videos, of course. I'm not gonna stop you guys from that. And now it's really important to actually schedule your day with KPIs, so key performance indicators, things that are measurable and achievable for your day. Also allocate times to these tasks. And throughout your day, just allocate sections for learning and for growing and for creating. That is the most fundamental thing. You know, if you're starting this out brand new, you've never done anything like this before, still go about what you're doing in your daily life. You know, it doesn't have to always be creating or learning or growing or whatever it may be. But if you schedule little blocks to do this, it will help you grow overall. And over a period of time, it will become a habit. And then you can introduce it more into your life. Another two kind of recommendations that I'd really push forward to you guys is learning how to play an instrument. You know, maybe you've got an instrument sitting in your garage and you've got more free time than you used to. This could be a really good opportunity to learn how to play an instrument. The other thing is learning a skill. So if you don't want to play an instrument, if you have no desire to want to learn that, you can learn how to edit. There are free programs out there. You could download DaVinci Resolve right now on Mac and PC. It's absolutely free. There's no excuse. You're not paying money. It's a free editing program. You can learn how to edit that. And actually, at this moment, I'm actually learning how to edit that as well. So. If you guys have any advice, I would, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Another thing that I kind of loosely mentioned before is aligning with a mentor. And a mentor can be a physical or a digital mentor. It could even be a friend of yours. It could even be someone that you seek out advice from or someone that you just have amazing chats with. They could be your mentor, but just in your mind, framing them as a mentor can actually really help with your productivity. I've got a lot of friends that I'll sit down with and it will be all about growth. We'll be chatting about things that we've done right through the week, things that we've done wrong through the week, what we've learned from that, and really fleshing that out with someone that you feel comfortable to talk these things through with is invaluable, it's fantastic. But if you don't have a friend like that, or if you don't have the money to actually invest in a mentor, you can just align with a digital mentor. So like I mentioned, podcasts are absolutely free. You can listen to a few, you can find someone you really align with, and then that can be in turn a digital mentor, someone that you watch an episode and seek some kind of advice or wisdom on, and then from there you can then action your own things, and you can create your own meaning out of what's happening on that podcast. I've done that countless times, and it's been really, really powerful. I've done the same when I've listened to audiobooks, and I've really aligned with a particular author or a particular way of being, and then I've actually embodied that in my everyday life. So that is a really important productivity hack that's actually helped me and a lot of people around me. So I find that to be, again, invaluable. And this productivity hack is more so to do with people that want to create a personal brand. But I'd argue that anyone could benefit from having a personal brand. I've had so many amazing opportunities just from doing what I do on YouTube. I've had offers to go different places. I've had products sent out to me. I've been paid to do particular things. It's also got me jobs in different industries because they've seen my YouTube channel, they've seen my podcast, they see who I am, they, I actually put myself out on a, on a global scale. And you, that sounds scary, you know, it's, it sounds so scary on paper, but the opportunities that have come up have made the world of difference. And I've actually got my top 10 tips on how to be confident in front of the camera, so that will pop up on the screen probably somewhere, um, or just check it out on my channel because that will make it a lot easier for you guys to chat to a camera or if you're doing a podcast it's even easier you don't have to worry about you know dressing up or looking a particular way you can just sit in your undies and record the audio that's simple easy and there's no kind of obstacle in the way really it's just your own kind of self-doubt that we can crush together it's a lot easier the more you do i promise you 
But what I'm trying to say is it can be really important to produce your own personal brand because that can make the world of difference for career aspirations in the future. Um, it creates your own personal brand online that employers, friends, brands, uh, companies, like-minded people, so many people can align with and connect with and I guarantee you, you will have some amazing opportunities and even if you don't have amazing opportunities, you will have the opportunity to connect with a community of people who enjoy the same thing as you and that is so powerful. I created a clothing brand called Eye in the Sky Clothing and it's allowed me to connect with the drone community and I absolutely love that community but it got me even deeper into the community. Now it's really important to really figure out the niche that you want to focus on. So whether it's uh, you know making a table, making the perfect table, producing cupcakes, music, movies, short TikToks on your phone or just whatever it may be, you know journaling more and then actually reflecting on your journaling through your own personal brand. You know, it could be Dan Wright's, that could be my personal brand. Research your brand, learn the language they're using, and then it makes it a lot easier to execute on creating your personal brand. And that could be as simple as creating the Instagram account and posting, posting your first photo or video. It's as simple as that, your personal brand is then ready, it's in the world. Another productivity hack which I think is really powerful, it's something I should do a lot more of, but I seem to do this in person when I meet up with friends or mentors or just people that I'm engaging with in everyday life, but what can be really powerful is if you're at home, if you're struggling to find routine, if you've got friends that are maybe rural or international or wherever they are, you know, for whatever reason, um, or just groups that you want to connect with, it can be really powerful to set up a meeting or to set up a call through Google Hangouts, Zoom, or even Skype. You can set it up through one of these three services and you can keep each other accountable. So you can tell each other what your hopes and dreams are for that week. You can talk about what you didn't do well, what you did do well through the week, how you would like to improve on next week's accountability check, um, you know, what you were proud of, disappointed of, like all these things you can really reflect on with people you feel comfortable with and that space can allow you to really grow as a person and learn what your limitations are, uh, learn what your strengths are and just move forward as a person. It could just be a fitness goal, it could be a diet goal, it could be a goal that all of you want to create you know, four pieces of content through the week. So you all get on a chat together and you talk about what you did, what you didn't do right, how you're gonna improve on that. It could be whatever you want. You could maybe read, you could create a book club. So every week you chat to your book club online. There are so many possibilities, so many options out there, and this is a major productivity hack if you're stuck at home. And the final one, we made it. I'm so glad I don't have to film this again. The microphone's good, yep, good, great. We're in, we're ready. This one I struggle with the most. This one is really hard for me. Do not batch too many tasks in the one day. It will crush you. You will feel like you haven't done enough for the day. And for me personally, trying to constantly produce, constantly trying to you know, figure out a way that I can spend my time growing more or developing more or producing more content or whatever it may be. This is something I do too often. I put too many tasks in my to-do bay. I write it down, I put it on my phone and it's unrealistic. So what's really important is prioritize your tasks. Uh, like I mentioned in a previous step, set some KPIs, some key performance indicators, set some allocated time limits to how much time you're gonna spend on each task and just be realistic in what you can actually do in a day. And remember, if you don't do all of it, you still have tomorrow, you still have the day after, you still have the weekend. So just make sure that you don't batch tasks and you set realistic goals for each day. Anyway, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed any particular productivity hack, I'd love to know in the comments. If you have any productivity hacks of your own, let me know, I'd really love to hear from you guys. But that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to tickle that like button down here or wherever it is. Make sure to subscribe, smash that notification bell if you haven't already. Have a fantastic day and peace out.